Damn, it's been like four long years I've been to Kerala though. Oh my god. And now you'll be able to see the sunrise. Check this out, how neat and clean the train is. The Indian railways are doing a very good job keeping the things very neat and clean. Yes, you heard it right. I'm going towards Varkala. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel and here I am going for another trip. So this time I'll be heading towards God's own country that is Kerala and one particular place which has been on my bucket list for quite a long period of time that is Varkala. Yes, you heard it right. I'm going towards Varkala. Damn, it's been like four long years I've been to Kerala though. Oh my God. I really miss the state a lot, man. Seriously, it's just like I have my heart over there and this time I'm so happy going out there. I just hope that the trip is going to be much more peaceful and simpler. I don't want to get stuck. And uh, this is almost like uh, approximately 800 odd kilometers. And this time I'm not taking my bike though. I'm going on my other favorite means of transport that is train. So my booking and all is done and I'm doing this trip completely solo. So that's the fun part <laughs> yeah so i'm very excited for what adventure it packs up and what is going to come through in this journey and before that let me just quickly pack my bags get myself sorted out and make a move from here see you at the station chalo mommy bye 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 see you after four bye. five days <laughs> Okay, finally we have reached the Majestic or the KSR railway station and I mean I'm typically on time though approximately another 40 minutes I have in hand so let me just quickly grab whatever I need. <laughs> The entire railway station is like so hustle bustle that there's a lot of crowd. I need to figure out where's my platform number. See, I think it's in platform number two. Yeah. So if you can see, it's a platform number two which is showing Kanyakumari Express. So that is where I need to go. The first time I'm seeing escalator in railway station which is like very rare. Okay, this is a train that I need to board. I have literally ample amount of time, almost like an hour, maybe a half an hour, 40 minutes. So let me just put the luggage inside and come out and chill for some time. <laughs> Well, it's a long way, man. It's a long way till there. Ooh, the train looks so empty. 56, 55, yes. So this is a seat. Okay, I got to my seat. This is seat number 55 and whatever you're seeing around, this is basically an AC coach. It's a third AC coach too. So let me just put my luggage down and just go out, grab some essentials and come back. Train 
is actually pretty empty though. I think uh, overall after a couple of stations most probably then there will be a lot of people coming around. So as of now I don't see a lot of people here. One way it's good because of Covid and other way it's peaceful and not a lot of people around so it's safe and sound. Check this out how neat and clean the train is. I mean coming across this after so many years is like a dream. I think uh, Indian railways are doing a very good job keeping the things very neat and clean and we as a citizen we need to make sure that we keep up the same cleanliness every time wherever we travel for that matter. So make sure that whenever you travel, travel less on plastic and also keep your surroundings very clean so that others can also enjoy the same. sunrise too beautiful trees and coconut so you'll find them a lot though and that's a jackfruit though <laughs> so there's a lot of flora and fauna spread across each and every inch so the ones you're seeing like a mini coconut right so that's basically the beetle nut such a vibrant morning though. The mornings are like very beautiful out here. Uh, showing across a lot of, like you would have seen a couple of clips before, right? So it's a beautiful sunrise and yet there's a lot of amazing vegetation, like beautiful vegetation in and across. So that's what Kerala is known for. <laughs> we just crossed Treshur, so it should be approximately another four to five hours to reach Varkala. So the next stop will be Ernakulam, uh, that will be Kochi and post that there are a couple more stops and then we are going to reach. Just grab myself idli vada, the typical South Indian breakfast.
And that's where the ocean is. It's really beautiful, man. Right behind it, this is the sea. 